when somebody, a patient comes into the wound center, we offer a wide range of treatment options, um, but really we first start off by assessing the patient and we assess the patient from top to bottom. So we follow the seven steps of wound healing. So first we assess for blood flow, we treat any infection, we assess their nutritional status, glucose control, um, because if you are diabetic, that directly affects how wounds heal. So the maggot therapy works by using engineered maggots that are created in a laboratory and they work by selective debridement. So they are placed onto the wound and they're covered with a dressing and then the maggots actually eat only the dead tissue so they don't eat good tissue and then their byproducts help promote other wound healing. A rise of skepticism may occur when patients are to undergo maggot therapy. According to Kim Long, Brookings Health System's wound center director, Maggot therapy has been discontinued by local health care providers as there are more advanced wound care options. However, other health providers may return to maggot therapy if the wound isn't healing correctly. Honey is a very frequent um, type of advanced wound care that we use here. It works by a few different good benefits. It works as an antioxidant, it works as an antimicrobial, and also promotes wound healing in a moist wound environment because that, those are the things that we would need to help promote uh, speedy recovery. So it's not your typical honey that you would find at the grocery store. It is created um, specifically in a lab per se. Um, so nothing that you would just grab out of the pantry, um, but it, they come in little tubes and we're able to get the patient set up with that dressing so they're able to use it at home as well. Kim says any disruption of the skin is considered a wound. They assess a wide range of patients from pediatric to elderly patients, ensuring a patient's overall blood flow and nutritional status as healthy is vital as it directly affects wound healing. Wounds are very common, especially in the older population. Even a bump or a scratch hitting it on the side of a nightstand can, to, can turn into a very complex problem. And so we wanna make sure the patients come in early so it doesn't lead to further infections or further tissue loss so we can help them as soon as possible so get them onto the road to recovery.